Hey, it's about time you shut up. Look, you're going to have to finish these FAA reports. I'm late for a flight. <clears throat> Whoa, what happened to your face? This morning, shaving after my shower, right? I open up the bathroom door to let the steam out. Casey walks in. I'm standing there buck naked. She lets out a blood-curdling scream. It's <laughs> up! Well, that's an improvement. Usually they just point and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, guy humor, not your thing. Yeah, well, fine. Look, uh, now the case is living with you, you might want to throw on some clothes every once in a while. Uh, but you know, uh, I think I have an even better solution. Yeah, no, forget it. Casey is not moving back in with me and Helen. You guys are just going to have to work things out. Uh. <laughs> Listen, as long as you and I have to live under the same roof, there's going to have to be some ground rules. Number one... You cover up. Whoa, 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 okay? I own this house. I make the rules. And since you're living there, I just want you to think of it as a country called Naked Land. Huh? I am the president of Naked Land. Would you care to hear the national anthem? No, thanks. I've already seen the flag. Rehearsal's all over. No turning back now, huh? Nope. Uh, guess, uh, you know what comes next. Probably the most important event in your life. Yep. Bachelor, Bachelor party! <laughs> oh, Joe. Wasn't that the most beautiful wedding rehearsal? You know what comes next. Yeah. Yeah, I have a pretty good idea. Our wedding. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Before I forget, I need you to do something for me. Can you... No! He cannot. Okay? You're going to be ordering him around for the rest of his life, but from now until tomorrow morning, he's all mine. All right, the big bachelor party. So what do you guys got planned for him? Look, how... Hey, hey, just... hey, hey! The woman can know nothing. What I do, break one of the Ten Commandments of bachelor parties? Yes, number one. The woman can know nothing. Relax, because the woman doesn't want to know anything. Except why does the bachelor party have to be the night before our wedding? Commandment number eight. Thou shalt defile and debase thyself on the nighteth right before thy wedding. <laughs> now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to go book a Vestal Virgin. <laughs> Helen? Yeah. You sure you're okay with this bachelor party thing? Sure. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, could get pretty wild. Oh, yeah, I know you, Joe. You'll have one, maybe two beers, get a little loose, and then you'll tell that one dirty joke you know. Uh, you know, you think you know me, but you're wrong. I plan on having at least three beers, and you know why? Because I've pre-eaten. <laughs> well, you go do your boy thing. But please, don't, don't drink too much, because I don't want you hung over for the wedding. I mean, remember, this is the most important day of our lives. Well, I, I can't promise anything. It's a bachelor party. It could get pretty wild. All right. Bunch of boobs looking at a bunch of boobs. Where's Brian? He's in the office. Well, thanks a lot, Brian. You were supposed to... Oh, my God! <laughs> Don't you ever knock? Don't you ever dress? I'll, I'll have you claim this office in the name of Naked Land, too. What's your problem? Just getting dressed for the bachelor party, all right? That's it. I'm staying at Helen's house tonight. Hey, fine. Suit yourself. But if you do, you'll miss the grand opening of Euro Naked Land. Hey, Brian. Whoa! Oh. And I... I heard that Brian Hackett bachelor parties were pretty wild, but I kind of expected to see a woman take her clothes off. <laughs> but you know, what the heck, I'm pretty liberal. Let's see what you get. I've seen the show. It's overrated. Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready to debase myself. What do we do next? Easy. Easy there, pumpkin. Get the whole night ahead of you. Okay. First, the fun begins in our deluxe suite at the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City. And uh, believe me when I tell you, we will not be lacking 
for entertainment. Oh, oh. <laughs> Does it uh, involve women? Uh, no. I hired jugglers and a dancing monkey. <laughs> I'm so excited. Roy was just telling me about the bachelor party you threw in 85. Yeah. Is it true? Two men are still unaccounted for. Uh, well, no, I think eventually they showed up. One is currently living in a seminary and the other is a chronic bedwetter. <laughs> Boy, you look tired. Oh, Casey, I'm exhausted. Well, what do you want to do tonight? I mean, it is your last night as a single woman. I'm going to go upstairs, take a nice hot bath, put on a mud mask, do my nails, and go to sleep. Helen, that sounds great, but you know what? It ain't going to happen! Surprise! <laughs> supposed to be here till tomorrow. Are you kidding? As soon as Casey told me about your bachelorette party, I changed my mm -hmm. plans. Oh, that's so sweet, bachelorette. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's not going to be rowdy. I mean, it's just us girls sitting around talking. <laughs> Shooters, anyone! <laughs> oh, appreciate it, Faye. No, thanks. Uh, I don't think I should drink before the wedding. Oh. Well, they are just little bitty bottles. <laughs> Atlantic City was luxurious, but I never dreamed that I'd get to see Al's crapshoot hotel. <laughs> Somebody pinch me, please. I booked the best suite at Trump's Taj Mahal. Yeah, but you booked it for the wrong night. And that's my fault? Yes! Yeah. Oh, hey, please, have a little faith. We got a room here and a stripper's coming. Who knows what else he's got planned? This is Brian Hackett here we're talking about. The master. This is going to be a night to remember. people who committed suicide in this dump. Okay, okay, here's a hard one. What did Christ say when he healed the leper? Oh, enough already. Not even close. He said... Oh, Antonio, we are all getting tired of Bible quiz. Put the good book down. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, here's something fun. Uh... Shadow puppets. What, what famous entertainer known as the Schnaz? Hey, hey, wasn't the one who promised everybody the greatest night of their lives? Hey, still early yet? Some of the best bachelor parties often start out a little slow. Well, wake me up when we get to slow. <laughs> okay. One nine hundred bummer. Uh, it's a pizza guy. Yeah. Oh. He's lost. Uh. Right. And no, it's a left at the landfill, a right at the industrial park, just past the sewage plant. Now, if you get to the toxic waste dump, you've gone too far. Okay. At least we are not going to starve because Uncle Roy has come up with the food. We have an apple, a can of soup, and a bag of pork rinds. Wait a second. The expiration date on those pork rinds is March 84. Eh, it's just a guideline. <laughs> no booze, no stripper, soup in a can and pork rinds. I hate this bachelor party. <laughs> you suck. Relax, okay? Relax, please. Stripper's on her way, and I know just the thing to kick this party into gear. A lol? Lol. Hmm. Why don't you just pop in a videotape. Okay. No, okay. But, you know, I, I've got a pretty wide selection, something for everybody uh -huh. here. Uh, I got Valley of the Vixens. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got uh, a clear and present vixen. Uh, I've got a vixen runs through it. And um, pulp vixen. Pulp vixen. Oh, it, it's about two mob hit vixens, both packing 38s. Oh, it's the director's cut. <laughs> what the hell's going on? 
It won't fit. It's got to fit. Why won't it fit? Why won't it fit? Because it's a beta machine, the last one in the free world. Well, uh, go down to the front desk. Uh, they must have something from the Vixen collection on beta. All right, I'll give it a shot. But just for the record, this is a very bad party. Oh. All right, all right, just, just take it easy, take it easy. Still, still plenty of fun to be had. Oh, please let it be someone with liquor, food, or my name sprayed in whipped cream across her breasts. <laughs> oh, you made it. You here? Fantastic. Hi, uh, I'm Brian. I spoke to you on the phone, and this is Joe. He's the groom. <laughs> did it oh. okay with joe during lunch hour in my walk-in freezer <laughs> in a parking lot at an ihop off route nine <laughs> uh, been there done that okay, uh, uh, mine would have to be on a rooftop during the macy's thanksgiving day parade just as underdog was going by <laughs> oh i know i have one at the foot of my bed. <laughs> In the middle of the week. <laughs> oh my God, I haven't lived, have I? Uh, uh, time to open the gifts. <laughs> gifts? No, you already got me gifts for the wedding. These aren't for the wedding. <laughs> These are for the wedding night. <laughs> What the hell do you do with this? It's really very simple. <laughs> the wildest bachelor party ever thrown? This night will become a legend? All right, I, I know we've had a few setbacks. <laughs> but I believe that this party is really going to take off. So, you boys ready for a show? Yeah. Look, look, you, you really don't have to do Oh, this. no, 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 no. You're the groove. This Come is on. your special Come night. <laughs> Kid, you're in no condition for this. Hey, 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 hey. Giving in to a cold is the worst thing you can do. <laughs> you're shivering. Come on, we'll cover you up. Yeah, it's a great party, Brian. Antonio is covering up the stripper. Hey, I got a tape. Oh, oh fantastic. Hey. What'd you get? Uh, terms of endearment. How'd you get that? Hey. It was either this or a deep throat. Come on. Haven't we all had quite enough of Watergate? Yes, there is, ma'am. In fact, complaints about the noise level from the neighbors. Oh, I'll take care of this. Beat it, copper. We're having a party, and if the neighbors don't like it, they can get stuffed. Oh, Faye? Um, hi, I'm Helen Chapel, and this is my home. And if we're too loud, um, we'll take care of it. Well, ma'am, that won't do. I'm going to have to write you a citation. Oh, you're just a big bully, aren't you? Uh... <laughs> Please. Just call me Sergeant Steve. Oops. 
sad. <laughs> Why did Deborah Weir have to die? <laughs> I feel so vulnerable. I never told anybody this, but when, when I was a little boy, I had a turtle. Larry. <laughs> he had his own little plastic island with a little palm tree. Then one day he got sick and he wouldn't eat. <laughs> And his shell got all soft. <laughs> and Larry died. <laughs> Larry! <sighs> Get it. My bachelor parties were legendary, man. I always felt sorry. The poor stiff who was walking down the aisle, you know? <sighs> now, right now, I envy you. Why do you think that is? I don't know, Brian. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it means you're ready for something different in your life. Or maybe you just suck. <laughs> oh, Larry, wherever you are. I'm sorry I painted you blue. <laughs> Wait, you painted him blue? You killed freaking Larry! <laughs> to see you. Where's Helen? Helen. Okay, girls. I guess the party's over. Oh. See you at the wedding, Joe. Now, uh, Joe, I just want you to know that nothing happened here tonight. <laughs> you know, I didn't know you guys were throwing Helen a party. Where is she? Oh, around. So I guess... You two kids probably want to be alone tonight, so I'll just go back over to my room at Naked Land. <laughs> Helen? 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 Joe? Hi, honey. party. Yeah, yeah, I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> Helen, I know that we're not supposed to be together the night before the wedding, but I realized something tonight. You're the only person I really want to be with, and... Tomorrow is going to be the best day of my whole life. Because it'll be the beginning of our life together. That was beautiful, man. This is my room, and this is my bed, otherwise known as the capital of Naked Land. What the hell are you doing in here, anyway? Uh, I thought this was my room. All those damn doors look alike in the dark. No, hey, your room's across the hall, all right? Fine. I can't get out of this bed. Why? I'm not wearing anything. Ooh, a new citizen. <laughs> you cross this border, and it's an act of war. All right, fuck. All right. I'll just turn my head, close my eyes, and you can uh, scamper away, okay? <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, you're still here. Look, it's just that this whole night... Never mind. No, 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 no. no. What? Listen, what? Well, look at me. No, look at me. I mean, look at where I am in my life. Everyone else is moving on. 
And where am I? And I have a failed marriage, no career. I don't even have a most unusual place I've ever had sex story. <laughs> and on top it all off, my baby sister is getting married tomorrow. Forget it. <laughs> Why don't you just close your eyes? I'll leave now. I don't know. I actually think I know what you're going through. You do? Oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Joe and Helen, my two best friends. And after tomorrow, everything's going to change. Yeah, they're not going to have any time for us, are they? Are you kidding? No, no, no. When you get married, you're in couple mode. You, know? <laughs> you have couple friends. You do couple things. And you start thinking about having kids. And... Oh, God. I'm going to be weird Uncle Brian. <laughs> I'm going to be poor Aunt Casey, the one who... Crying all the time. <laughs> I should really be a lot, you know, happier for them tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> uh oh. I know. Yeah, this is a. Uh... This is very dangerous. It's very dangerous because uh, something could happen here that we'll we'll regret for a long time. The rest of our lives. Yeah, and that 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 would be wrong. Wrong, and that would be suicidal. Oh, that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, damn. I know. <laughs>